Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another awesome Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. All right, so this is a super fun, super simple fidget spinner. Let me show you just how easy it is to build. The first thing we need to do is find the bent pipe. If you click search and bring it out, it is bent and pipe. Of course, I like to make it a favorite so I can find it easier. Next time I want to use it, we're going to simply change some numbers. That has to be six. The wall thickness of three is already perfect. Arc diameter is 20. The bend angle is 210. Now I did guess and check to find these numbers. I've also decided that 20 is a little longer than I want. So I'm going to make this 18 and press enter and 18 and press enter. It is that easy to set it up and then you can play with it. Now we want it to be straight. That makes it easier to build. So I'm going to tell you that 15 degrees seems to be the perfect number for those measurements. Notice now this is right up here and ready to be added to the fidget spinner. Notice if you want it skinnier, instead of 20, you can do 15 and it takes that entire shape and adjusts it so it has a different look than it had before. This is how easy it is to play with this. Now we need the center. Let me show you how to build that. Back to basic shapes, bring out a tube. The numbers you want are 14 and 3. I'm going to make this smooth. I'm going to change the bevel to 2, and I'm going to make this 10 for the bevel segments. The next thing we have to do is set this to 6, so that way it matches our original shape. So right there is our fidget spinner. Now let me explain why we did this. You can put a bearing in here, like from a standard skateboard, and bingo, that'll be how your fidget spins. Because these are lined up like this, we can do L for a line, and bingo, that is perfectly in place. Once again, note the different sizes. That's because I changed this to 15 instead of 20, and I took those down from 20 as well. So now we need to make the arms. Check it out. Control D, grab the rotation, let go, and type 120 in the box. Perfect angle, just like that, drag it into place. If you do Control D again, we want to rotate that one 120 as well. Type it in the box. Press enter. I'm going to move this over here. And I'm just going to align these two. If I do L for align, I want them to be at the same bottom edge. I want them to be at the same bottom edge. And then I can simply nudge them into place. Notice if you switch to flat view, it is real easy to see that they are lined up and touching the way that you want. I can just use the arrow keys to connect them into place. If you want to switch to a smaller nudge, that may help a little bit. I could also take these two and group them. And then I can align them with this tube. So if I shift select, do L for align, and click right here, when I choose center, those are now in place. Friends, that is your fidget spinner. Real quickly, I'm going to take that and do control G to group it. There you have it, friends, a super quick printable fidget spinner. Of course, there are techniques we can use to fill it in. I'll share that in an upcoming video. I do also want to show you this, though. Check it out. If we go to the Sim Lab, you have to wait a minute for the geometry to become real. I'm going to take these and I'm going to lift them up. And then I'm going to grab the awesome axle. When I bring out the axle, I do want to make sure they're lined up. So let's go orthographic and top view. Now I can get this super close to the center. Notice you can't do a line. It won't line up correctly. So if we do this and this, notice that is not the right spot. So you kind of got to use Kentucky windage. And then I want to show off another new feature. I can do control C and control V and then nudge this one to the other spot. We used to have to leave to copy and paste. Now we can do it right inside. Now, friends, we need to connect it. Don't grab the blue one, because that's the axis. Instead, grab either of these handles and connect it to your spinner. Once again, no blue one. Simply connect it to the spinner. And when we hit play, we can now throw things at our awesome fidget spinner. Just like that. So they are fun to 3D print. They are also fun to play with. Notice mine are colliding with each other, so I'm going to reset. And I'm just going to grab this one. And I'm going to grab this one and raise it up a little more. I'm going to pick a different material. Let's see what happens if I set it to steel. And I'm going to set it to yellow. 
I'm going to make this one bouncy rubber just because it's funny. And let's hit play one more time. And let's play with our virtual fidget spinners that can also be 3D printed and turned into a real one. Check that out. Did I break the uh, axle? I might have done that. I'm going to hit reset and let's double check that. Once again, I've got the right blue. I'm going to reset. Let's see how it works with polystyrene. Once again, hit play. And bam, it is spinning just like you'd expect. How wild is that? I had no idea that that's the reaction I'd get by switching it to steel. As you can see, friends, a ton of fun to design and 3D print, but also play with virtually. A quick reminder, I'm going to switch back to perspective view, and I'm going to share this design with the world. My favorite steps to do that are first to pick a cool background color. Let's go with blue. I'm going to shut off the grid. When we click out here, that looks a lot nicer. And then finally, to publish or share your design, go back to the dashboard. Click up here on the properties. Of course, give it a name. I also mentioned this a tutorial coming soon. Of course, we've got some tags. I'm going to add the tag fidget spinner. And then if you ever add the tag HLMT23 to any project you create, I check that tag each day. And of course, when I see your design, I will give you a reaction. Next, you need to make the design public, prove you're not a robot, and then I always choose attribution, no derivatives, because instead of copying my designs, I would rather have you come up here, follow the tutorial, and gain some epic skills. Lastly, hit save changes. Now, real quickly, friends, as soon as you put them in the gallery, if you zip out here, of course, you see the staff picks. Friends, don't forget when you check out the staff picks, those reactions are always appreciated. If you look below the original design, you will find other cool projects. Sometimes they even have bit.ly links that'll get you to them faster. Of course, if they're set to copy and tinker, don't forget the golden rule. Give a reaction before you copy and tinker. What I want to highlight right now, though, is if you shut off staff picks, click this button so you can see more designs at once. If you look down through the list, you will find the designs. Bingo! Friends, I am setting this to copy and tinker to give you a head start. Of course, remember the golden rule of Tinkercad before you copy and tinker. Give a reaction. Speaking of reactions, let's check out a few designs and give them. This is a fun one from BC Designs. I'm going to give it an awesome. We click out here, I see a super fun castle. Going to give that a wow. And right here, we have got a fun rocket. That is fabulous. Going to give it a like. Friends, remember, you never know just whose day you might make while you're given a reaction. Absolutely love the house. Friends, as I wrap up, let's check out my website one more time. Of course, I've got the page dedicated to Tinkercad. Tons of amazing categories. Below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. Friends, you'll also find the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. I do also want to highlight the course Tinkercad in 20 Days that you can find on cadclass.org. All the information you need is in that video. Also, don't forget the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.